wish I was above the center of attention, but I'm not. I wish I didn't have to give in to the pressure. Uh oh. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not. It feels just like I'm lying to you. I fake it, stage it, trying to live some perfect life. I know I'm wasting time. Cause I just wanna call my friends and see what they're doing tonight. It doesn't have to be so special. I try to be myself, you do the same and we'll be alright. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure by myself when I met ya Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for another video. So today it's going to be a do it till it's done, a little bit of everything. We have got some planning, can't believe it's March already. We've got a grocery haul, some meal prep, and then just a ton of catch up cleaning. Last week was so crazy busy. I had a deadline on a big project I was working on. I had to go away for a girl's hens night down the Gold Coast for Saturday night. And then everything else just went by the wayside. So just looking forward to really getting back into routines, getting back on track of all of the housework. The house wasn't too, too out of control. It's just that everything seemed like it needed doing. So I had to change the sheets, pick up all around the house, grocery day, getting all the meal preps ready. Again, I'm really loving having these planners that I have created. They are available on my website for a free download if you're interested. I will leave them linked in the description below, but especially having the meal planner and just planning out all the meals for the week, it has been a huge, huge money and time saver. I was worried you blow my reputation But I figured it's not on me, yeah, yeah, yeah the way you're making me shiver Your hands on my silver I keep pulling the trigger right This very finger for people like them Oh no no But darling on my mind I'm feeling so fly up in the zone now I'm like a golden crown Whirling high up in the sky oh. It's the way you make me feel so good Feel so good right now It's the way you make me feel so good oh. Golden Gate Time Cocoa Pops. If you do not know what Golden Gate Time is, Golden Gate Time is a really famous ice cream that is Australian and they have made Cocoa Pops into Golden Gate Time flavor. We've got some lunchbox snacks over here, pretzels, um, Pringles Mini Thins and veggie straws, pretty stock standard. These are always on offer like two for five. Uh, we have like a recipe base for one of the meals that we've got planned for this week. Corn thins, coconut water, brioche rolls for lunch boxes. This is going into some chili bowls for later on in the week. I like to have all the fresh stuff that needs salad stuff at the start of the week. And then anything that just needs like veggies or rice and staples and stuff towards the end of the week. So then I don't have to go and top up for veggies. Some coconut water, lychee coconut water. I love this stuff. It is very addictive. Uh, this is just the dark chocolate that I sprinkle on the top of my cappuccinos. If you've watched my videos, you'll know that I love making coffees and this is what I put on the top every time I have a coffee. Uh, randomly sorted out, I just wanted to get through this quickly. Some watermelon, some coffee pods, some pitted calamata olives. This is for our WandaVision pizza night. So we make homemade pizzas just on flatbread bases. And every Friday we watch WandaVision. So we will be doing a WandaVision pizza night again. Some tuna just for lunches, just some pantry staples, some crushed tomatoes, oat milk for cereal, oat milk for coffee, regular milk for the kids. They prefer this like for their cereals and stuff. There's some baby leaf spinach for salads and smoothies and things. And then I like this baby leaf rocket just to have for salads. And mixed in with um, other salads that we've got like this. I just kind of mix them together. These are just some really easy things to throw in the oven and then we just make wraps out of them with wrap bread and the slaw kit. Coriander for our sanchoy bow, some just sliced meat for lunches and this is for our pizza night that we're out of stock of pepperoni. Some olive dip for snacks and also I spread it on the kids sandwich bases for their lunch boxes. And we've just got some basic fruit and veggies so there's lunch box stuff, there's things for juices, smoothies, snacks, uh, meal prep, grapes for lunch boxes, more eggs, some cheese for pizza and just to have on hand. 
Uh, bananas, which are always great. Sweet potatoes, I always get them and I always just chuck them in some kind of recipe. And then this is just for the chili bowls at the end of the week. I'm gonna prep this today, I think, and then put the made chili in the freezer so it's all done and it just needs to be re reheated. Then these were on special. I don't usually buy things like this, but this one was on special. I thought it could be just really easy to just roast um, in a pan in the oven with some veggies and we're gonna have that tomorrow night. And then this is just some cheese slices, avocados and a little salad kit and bean sprouts for our Sancho bao. So I'm just gonna quickly whack all of this fridge and freezer stuff away and then I will get these veggies prepped up and then all the grocery pantry staples put away. Freddy's over there having a nap. Because, well, it's 10.30, you gotta have a nap. You gotta have a nap, don't you, little buddy? Pretty well, pretty well. Mommy didn't even buy you one single thing in this whole grocery haul. You've got plenty of treats and you've got all your food in the freezer. And we will just bring it out and cook it for you. All right, let's get started. Now I've already cleaned out the fridge and uh, I've already cleaned out the fridge because I always do that before I go and pick up the groceries because I just want to put it straight into the fridge as soon as we get home. Oh, I think that's going to be too big. I'm really loving doing my click and collect grocery orders. Every second week I do a big order when I've got my boys with me for the week. And like I said earlier, I just do a really basic meal plan with all of the weeknight dinners planned out so that I stick to budget and that I don't have that decision fatigue every single day deciding what is to cook for dinner because that is probably one of the worst things about everything that is sort of household and housework related that constant deciding what to make for dinner. So I just do it once a week and it is just pretty basic meals. I leave one weekend night free that the kids can just choose something then they can either make themselves or we can just make together as a family and then they've got sort of some say in a meal at least once a week. But for the rest of it, it has just been so simple and so easy and just getting that whole stress out of the way at the start of the week. So not only do I not have to think about what we're cooking for dinner or having for dinner, no one is arguing about who's choosing what they're having. It also makes cleanup really easy because you clean up only really once with pack packing away all of the groceries, you get rid of all the packaging and you unpack it into the pantry. You do some prep, like get your veggies and stuff. So there's a lot less wastage. That is definitely one thing that I've found when you plan out your meals and you prep it all up on Monday or one day a week, there's so, so much less wastage. I used to be throwing away, you know, half bags of salad, all these lettuce and fresh produce and stuff like crazy. But since starting consistently doing meal plans, definitely the wastage has been well and truly down. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes I can take another night with you on like this So let's go, I'm sure you can take it You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another course that we can fly 
Now, as you can see, we have just moved into the living area. And to be honest, it was mostly just picking up Freddy's toys because he is our little new four month old mini schnoodle, schnauzer poodle. Uh, he's pretty well house trained now. He still makes the odd little teeny tiny mess, but his area is kind of contained. And I think the one thing that I love about my house and about one of my kind of rules or habits for a really easily cleaned home is to make sure that you've got a place for everything so that everything can get put back in its place really really easily and for me personally that saves so much time when it comes to cleaning up because you know where everything goes and it's just a matter of quickly just stashing everything back away and then giving the place a really quick clean on the day i filmed this video it was the golden globes so i took a quick lunch break just made some scrambled eggs with some leftover uh, produce from the week before so some tomatoes that were going a little bit soft and some spinach scrambled eggs and i just popped on the golden globes and took a lunch break and chilled out for a bit had some really cool wins, some of my favorite shows, but unfortunately a couple of my favorites like Ratchet and Mrs. America did not win. I love when my kids come home from school. So Freddie just goes absolutely crazy because he hasn't seen them for a week. So my oldest son just goes to school down the road. So when he walks home, Freddie just goes absolutely bonkers when he comes through the door. Come here, little. He's having cheese and crackers. School pickup time. We're at the school pickup. We have this school pickup, and we're waiting for the board. And then we go and pick up uh, my other son from school because he is still in primary school. And we just wait in the car queue until it is time for him to get picked up. And then Freddy goes absolutely nuts, absolutely nuts again. So he really looks forward to seeing them when they come home from school after they've been away at their dad's for a week. It is like all his Christmases have come at once. He's just the super cutest. And I was back into cleaning and when we are back at home, I just went through and I had some sheets that I had changed off my kids' bed. So they'd been through the washer and dryer and then I just had to pop them back on the bed. It didn't really take long, but it's honestly one of my least favorite tasks is to put the sheets back on the bed. I really hate doing that. But you just put on some music or something and it's done before you know it. I do love how nice it makes the bedroom look though when beds are really nicely and neatly made so I make a point of my kids either making their beds every morning or if they're leaving early I'll come back in and after we've done the school drop off I'll come in and make the beds just to make the whole house and each room look really nice and put together it's such a simple thing making your bed it only takes a couple of minutes but it just makes such a big difference when you walk into a room and the beds are nice and neatly made to if they're just in a jumbled mess of sheets and quilts and everything all over the place. And now we are starting all over again with the bed making process, but in my bedroom. And then once the bed was nice and neatly made, I just caught up all the laundry that was overdue and that was half done throughout the house. So I had some washed and it was in baskets. I had some washed and folded that was in other baskets. And I just got it all caught up and it was just such a relief to have all the washing finished, done and put away at the end of this day. I'd gone through a couple of weeks ago and given a really big declutter to my wardrobe and you can see there's a big box of clothes that I've got that I've been adding to from my kids room as well to donate to charity or to pass on to friends and family. It makes such a difference when your wardrobe is not stuffed to the brim so all your drawers and all your hanging space it's got like a bit of room to breathe so that when it does come time to put away your clothes it's much easier and better experience when you've got 
free space to put everything rather than trying to jam stuff in and stuff it all into the closet. So definitely if you are avoiding doing your laundry because it is a pain in the butt to put your stuff away because you, your closets and drawers are too full, definitely take some time and just do a big declutter. It's change of season. So now is the prime time to go through and do a wardrobe declutter. Now that the house is back under control, finally, it has only been like a week kind of out of routines, but even just that one week, it just felt like so built up and it was really nice to get it back on track. Just those few things getting picked up, getting the floors vacuumed in and washed, getting the sheets changed and back on the beds and getting all the laundry caught up, it just felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulder. So tonight I usually do a meat free Monday. So this is a vegetarian dish if you are interested. This is all over Instagram. It is super TikTok famous at the moment and I've been dying to try it. It is the baked feta pasta. Spoiler alert, probably wasn't my super, super favorite. I don't know, it just was a little bit bland and a bit dry for me, but I kind of tweaked it and made a few changes and it turned out okay in the end. The kids really loved it. So the thing that I did, I didn't save any of the pasta water, which you're supposed to do, I think, and toss some extra pasta water through once it's cooked. But I didn't do that, I forgot. So after it had been cooked and mixed the baked feta through, I just got some low fat sour cream that I had in the fridge and I stirred that through sort of to make it a little bit more creamy. The other thing I did was I also squeezed some lemon juice and put some lemon rinds in and that really just kind of lifted the whole taste of the dish. So if you are gonna make that baked feta pasta, I would definitely recommend doing that we also went ahead and did some baking and my youngest son really loves to help bake normally he did skip out halfway through making these muffins with me now we kind of cheat and we use a banana bread base and use that as a muffin mix and then we just add our own extra fillings in so for half of these we just did raspberry and white chocolate so some frozen raspberries and some white chocolate bits and then the other six we kind of turned into rocky road so we added raspberry white chocolate milk chocolate and some marshmallows some mini baking marshmallows and the kids really loved those i know no, they're not the super healthiest but not super bad for a nice sweet treat And for the rest of the video, it is just showing you how our Monday night meat-free meal went. I also like to keep it pretty simple on the days that I have like my grocery haul and meal prep, just to make sure that you've got a really easy meal to make and you're not gonna be working all day, doing shopping, doing grocery hauls, doing meal prep, doing food prep up for the week. Then you've got to do your normal housework and then to come and have to cook a really big extravagant meal. I try to keep it really low key on Mondays because they're pretty big on the sort of housework days. And I find that that works for me. Anyway, enough yammering on for me. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some motivation to get in and get some things planned, planned for March, your meals planned out. I will definitely leave a link for those planners that I've designed. They are free download. They're just available to download as PDFs on my website. You can print them out. You can laminate them so that you can use a whiteboard marker on them and use them over and over again. If you have tried this baked feta pasta recipe and it turned out good for you, tell me what was your trick and did it did you think that it was a little bit dry? For me, I thought it was a bit dry, but like I said, I just added in some sour cream, low fat sour cream that I had in the fridge, and it kind of just turned it into a little bit slightly more creamy. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of video that has a little bit of everything. So there's some grocery hauls, there's cleaning, there's organizing, and there's also a little bit of like recipe inspiration as well. I know that sometimes I can get a little bit stuck in a rut and I tend to just make the same things over and over again. I'm trying to do at least one new meal per week that I haven't cooked before just to keep it fresh and interesting. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a fabulous weekend. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Why don't we